Welcome back to another Sebastian story. Oh, hi, honey. Oh, sweet. And Luna's story. <laughs> Well, we're back at it again, telling our sweet boy's story. And of course, he's our Connie Corso Italiano, and he is just doing wonderfully. But today, we actually wanted to talk about something common with a lot of, well, I'll call them the floppy-skinned breeds, you know, brachycephalic dogs, and a lot of mastiffs, too. They have a problem with what's called entropion. And what that is, is a rolling of the eyelids, where you have so much excess skin on these breeds that even their eyelids themselves will grow excess skin. Oh, hi, Luna. Oh, hi, honey. And it might even happen to little Miss Luna Petunia, too. You never know. Oh, sweet honey. <laughs> And Sebastian actually had his entropion done by Atlanta Humane before we had adopted him. And they did a beautiful job, but now that he's almost four years old, it might be time to do at least one of his eyelids again, because we've been noticing uh, he's been having some discharge and uh, just getting teared up uh, in the one uh, in his right eye here. And you know, if you've ever had a, just an eyelash in your eye, you know how uncomfortable that is. Well, imagine having all of your eyelashes coming in. It's not a pleasant thing, causes a little bit of discharge from the eyes, teary eyes, and can also cause even more problems. So it's something you want to be able to stay on top of and have corrected. Unfortunately, yes, that does usually mean surgery. Obviously, you're talking to your veterinarian about this, but it's uh, a very simple surgery where they're just removing a little bit of the excess skin and then stitching it back together, pulling the eyelashes back out of the eye so everything sits the way it's supposed to. And you can see right there, it's this lower eyelid that's just getting a little bit too much in it. It's a little too much skin, and it is starting to roll just a little bit back in on itself. So we may need to have that redone, but nevertheless, we'll make sure our special guy's taken care of, like always. And I know Sebastian looks a little less than impressed since I've explained that, but I think he's going to be okay. He's went through it before, but we've been keeping a close eye because he's been having a hard time recently. Uh, we've been having a, uh, to reapply a topical eye treatment that we got from our veterinarian uh, to help make sure that the eye doesn't get infected or anything like that, uh, just to kind of help control the discharge and hopefully help him get through it. But like with most breeds, uh, you can end up having to do the entropion twice, just once as a baby and then again as an adult once they're full grown. And, uh, you know, <laughs> they've got all this extra flappy skin right here. Look at him. He's got the flappy skin. Oh, sweet boy. It's going to be okay. Good boy. But yeah, all this extra pinchable, squeezable, lovable stuff, it can cause problems, unfortunately. So our sweet boy uh, may need to have it redone. But nevertheless, I just wanted to uh, share some knowledge with some people out there. Let people know it does happen. It is a common thing. It is well known and understood. And there's a solution for it. As always, thank you very much for watching. We're having a great time telling these stories. Well, so much that I'm getting nibbled on. I got the love nibbles. He's using his front teeth. <laughs> oh, sweet boy. Oh, thank you. And we'll be back again soon with more. Thanks again. <laughs>